thanks for tuning in to Insanity Gaming. I'm Rambo. In this video, I'm going to be testing the off-road trucks and doing a, a countdown from 10 to 1. If you like the video, please drop a like. Please feel free to comment and definitely subscribe. I'm a growing channel, getting bigger and better every day. Coming in in 10th place is the D-Class Yosemite Rancher. And it uh, it is it just barely beat out the free crawler for tenth place. It's not bad. It has a little bit of tendency to roll. Let's see how it's doing right now. But yeah, that's that's our tenth place vehicle. Ninth place is the coil brawler. Uh, coil brawler surprised me a little bit. I didn't think it was gonna do as good as it did. Uh, it, it's only ninth place, but <laughs> I, I didn't think it was going to get ninth. But yeah, everybody, it's uh, it has a tendency to roll a little bit, but it's a decent car. Okay, eighth place is the Annis Hellion, and honestly, I I think the Hellion looks a little better than it performs off road. I, I think it's I think it's really sharp. I like the big blower sticking out of the hood. And it's not a bad performing truck, but I mean, it's 8th place, so I'll let that speak for itself. In its 7th place is the Vapid Karakara. And this is a pretty stable, pretty stable field truck uh, when, you're, when you're driving it. You know, it has a little bit of tendency to roll, but not as much as some of the others. And it, uh, it's got a good solid feel to it, and it has come in at 7th place. In at 6th place is the BF Bifta. It's another one that kind of surprised me. But uh, the Bifta... It doesn't look like... <laughs> I mean, it's just my opinion, take it for what it's worth, but it doesn't look like it performs like it does to get... Uh, Sixth place, on to fifth, Nagasaki Outlaw. Uh, just like the the review I did a couple days ago for the podium vehicle, as fifth place, it's uh, surprisingly good in off-road racing. Doesn't have a very high top speed, but it's, it's acceleration and climbing ability are great. Number four is the Maxwell Vagrant. And I have to be honest and say I was expecting a little bit better from the Vagrant. And I think it has a little bit better potential than my test, but I I tried my best and it came in at fourth place. In at three, uh, third place is the Canis Camacho, a favorite of lots of lots of off-roaders. But yeah, uh, three, two, and one are pretty close in time. And like I mentioned, third place is the Camacho very fast, very stable, it's a very nice truck to race with, and it's a, it's pretty bargain price, too. Uh, number two is uh, the Vapid Desert Raid. And, you know, it, the, the Desert Raid is a vehicle, it is a good, nice, fast vehicle to race off-road with, but there is a little bit of a learning curve. See how it flipped over there? Uh, once you get used to it, you don't have to worry about that. But as you're, you know, as you're getting used to it, it is quirky. But it is capable of very fast times. It's number two. And on to number one is the Vapid Trophy Truck. And I, I'm not too surprised by this. I, I thought the Vagrant was going to take number one, but the Trophy Truck is number one. It is... So you beat out the Desert Raid by about four-tenths of a second, which isn't that much. But, yeah, I think the I think the trophy truck is just all around. Uh, it, it's, it's just the total package all around. Uh, a lot of people will argue that the Camacho is, but, uh, you know, I, I got a better time with the trophy truck. And I... You know, I, I didn't want to spend extra time on vehicles just, you know, so the favorites can have better spots, if you know what I mean. Didn't want to cook the books, you know. But 
Yeah, some notable mentions. 11th place, uh, other vehicles I tested 11th place was the Free Crawler. 12th was the Eberron. 13th was the Rebel. 14th was the Riata. 15th was the Mesa. And 16th was the Sand King XL. So everybody, that's my top 10 off-road vehicle video. If you liked it, please drop a like. Please leave me a comment. And feel free to subscribe and join my community of viewers. Thanks for watching.